hey, so tonight we talked about some very specific team intentions. And if we're thinking about these red players here, the, the four in the back, you know, the team intention was first to play the ball out wide. And then if we could, could we switch the field? Because typically what will happen is you've got the seven who will apply pressure, the nine who will also shift over. And then you have the 11 who kind of holds or, or provides cover. And so if the two had the opportunity to switch the field, it kind of looked like this tonight. A lot of times though, when that pass was coming across, the nine would actually step in and steal the ball. And that's going to happen a lot until, you know, there's repetition throughout this activity. If the four had the ball, they could play it out to the three and then the three would try to switch the field to the two. Um, if the five had the ball, sometimes we saw the five play it to the three. And then I think the two was Rachel tonight. Sometimes she even made an inside run. And if that happens, then we want to try to play the ball into the two. Okay. On the, on the blue team, as we tried to work on pressing collectively as a unit, what's important is when you're pressing together as a unit, you want to be in a position that allows you to shut down angles and provide support to the player who is going 1v1 on the ball to try to win. Uh, if the red team lost the ball tonight, we talked a lot about pressing or repressing to try to win the ball back. And if you remember, there was a couple of situations where the three would have the ball over here. And if the three lost the ball, we immediately were asking the four to join in to go 2v1 to try to win the ball back from the 11. So when you start to think of it in those terms, how quickly can you win the ball back if you lose it out of possession? And then in possession, we were talking about specifically using the correct amount of touches so whether that was a one touch or a two touch, or maybe you dribbled forward a little bit, but all of these indicators go into the real game. Uh, what I would suggest maybe in another session is the three blues there, they should win the ball, try to shoot on goal and the four reds, they should try to play to a target person up here at the top because of the space limitations and the time frame that we are working under. I felt like it was best to just work on the, the switching the field, um, you know, playing the ball forward and then wide, as well as trying to get that numerical superiority. If the red team lost the ball, we wanted the two reds to attack. One other thing, and, and, and this is the final point. If you remember, when we played the ball from, say, the four to the three, so the ball goes out here. What we were talking about tonight was the four moves over to provide some, some support. And then the five covers that space. And then the two kind of shifts down a little bit as well. That right there is an opportunity for the three to have an option to play it to the four. If the three plays it to the four, we immediately were trying to connect to the two. And if you remember, sometimes the two, would split the defenders and end up here in the middle. So tonight, I really appreciated the opportunity to spend time with you girls. I think that the way that we were working with a high rate of pace and the opportunity to, you know, make a mistake, get through it, reset, start over, and, and really starting to build a, a consistency of making good passes thinking, improving the soccer intelligence, looking for your teammates, getting a look before the ball comes to you, getting a look when the ball is at your feet, and then trying to execute those team principles. It was really a lot of fun tonight to be with you. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And certainly, hopefully I'll be back with you. But tonight was all about 
having that specific situational principle and demand where we are switching the field, we are playing the ball wide and then uh, forward, or if we were on the blue team, we were pressing as a unit.